Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to another adventure in World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. On the Defias Pillager server, this time we are doing the self-found option that Blizzard has just added this evening. So, it's going to be self-found. We are going to add a couple other modifiers to make this run more interesting and probably a little bit more challenging. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this solo self-found. So I am not going to be grouping up with other players while we do this challenge. We're going to approach it as a solo self-found adventure. A couple of other things we're doing is I have nameplates turned off on enemies and NPCs. So as we look off into the distance, unless we're targeting an enemy or an NPC, we're not going to see floating nameplates. That's going to make the world a little bit more dangerous. It's also going to make it a little bit more immersive as you look off into the distance. You'll just see the creatures and you won't have to see the names floating above them until we target them or we're in combat with them. Another challenge we're taking on is that uh, for gear slots that we can craft, we're only going to wear items that we can make ourselves. So we are going to be a tailor. Any slot that we can tailor for, we have to make that ourselves. We can't use quest items or anything we find off the ground if we can tailor the slot. This obviously doesn't apply to weapons, wands, rings, necks, things that we cannot tailor. But yeah, that'll be an additional challenge. On that same note, food items. If we want to eat food, it has to be food that we cook ourselves. For water, we can drink the vendor water because we don't have a way to make water. But food, we have to cook it. Gear slots, we have to tailor it. And I'll have a list of these rules that we're using in the description. So yeah, thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I truly do appreciate it. Let's go ahead and, and we will get right are. into things. We should probably make sure that we have auto loot on. It is on. Let's get a couple different action bars going and we will be all set. As always with this playthrough guys, my aim is to provide an immersive, chill experience. As part of that, I want the music and the ambience to be kind of in the forefront, so let me know about the volume settings. And if anything it needs to be adjusted, if you have feedback about the audio, let me know what kind of device you're listening on, that helps out a lot. This had better be good. Dark lady. So we're looking for mindless zombies and wretched zombies. You can see what I mean about not having any nameplates. It's really easy to overlook enemies, which as you can imagine gets dangerous once they are aggressive.
All right, that's level two. We're not done with the quest, but I want to go back, vendor stuff, and we will learn, I believe we're going to learn fortitude to increase our health, our stamina. Let's do that. Let's come over here and we will vendor first. What is it? Trust no one. I'm listening. What do you require? Yes. Beware the living. I'm listening. Hello. And so with me being unfamiliar with this area, finding the priest trainer could be challenging. Hello, dark lady, watch I over you. Uh, I'm sure that they're here somewhere. Are you not the priest trainer? They are not the priest trainer. This is the warlock trainer. You are not a trainer. I really wish there was a way. See, I, ha I have this mark to show quest NPCs. But it clearly does not also show trainers and stuff like that. Uh, they're hiding right over here. What okay. That's good to know. I really wish I could turn on, you know, just the town NPCs. Uh, but we can't. It's either, it's kind of like an all or nothing. It says we can have quest NPCs up, but it really doesn't even seem to do that much. I'm listening. There we go. Power word fortitude. For Sylvanas. That'll give us another chunk of health here. And so alongside tailoring and cooking and the other minor professions, we're also going to be taking enchanting. And our goal with enchanting is to be able to make the lesser wand and the greater magic wand. And once we've accomplished that, we'll be dropping enchanting to take skinning. The reason being that some later tailoring recipes require us to have skins. And with it being self-found, we're not going to have the opportunity to get those on the auction house or from other players.
If we go back and we turn in the first kill quest, it should open up another quest for the rattle cage skeletons. So let's go do that really fast. And we'll empty our bags as well. Seemingly just a really small area to find these rattle cage skeletons. We're kind of going to be at the mercy of respawns.
right, we have all of the dusk bat wings that we need. We're looking for scavenger paws and still a bunch of rattle cage skeletons. I wonder if I can turn off group invites. Keep in mind, we're doing a solo cell phone, so I'm not going to be joining any groups, and I probably should just turn invites off if I can. Uh, we can block guild invites, and that's it. We can't block group invites. God all day. What will you require? Embrace the shadow. All right, that actually opened up a couple more quests. What now? Scavenging death knell. We need to find six pieces of scavenged goods. 
and Nightweb's Hollow, we need to slay 10 young Nightweb spiders and 8 regular Nightweb spiders. Go ahead and vendor. And you are. Watch your back. So we have all of our crates, and this will be the last rattle cage we need. We'll turn these in before we go after Samuel or the spiders. And we'll train level 4, which I believe will be Shadow Ward Pain. I'm listening. Farewell. What would you ask of death? Beware, our enemy is about. This had better be good. Beware the living. Yeah, there we go. We got Shadow Word Pain and Lesser Heal Rank 2. Part of me is tempted to save the money on this, but I'll go ahead and train it. Uh, let's just turn the filter off. There we go. Hello. Victory for Sylvanas. Okay, let's go after the spiders first. It might be challenging to get the name guy. There could be a bit of competition for him. We got a lot of people here online tonight, obviously, with it being opening night. Thirty-eight level ones right now. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. 
Now, if I remember correctly, the spiders inside this cave are going to be aggressive. The ones on the outside are not. But on the inside, they will be. Casting Fortitude on that player was a very nice thing of us to do, but it did cost us quite a bit of mana. I'm going to sit on my regen for a second here. That's it for the aggressive ones. We can move back outside now where it is a little bit safer.
Okay, spiders are done. Let's head over to where Samuel's at and we'll see if we can get lucky enough to find him. Well, I would say alive, but I guess find him up and ambulatory would be more accurate. He's there. He's level 5, which is a little bit scary. Uh, I'm going to get some distance. And we're just going to have to pummel him with smite. That wasn't too bad. We need to bury his remains over here in the graveyard. Next up, we're going after 12 Scarlet Armbands from the Scarlet Converts and the Scarlet Initiates. Watch your back. They are going to be out to the east. What do you require? Beware the living. I am forsaken.
So that one... It's not just a breadcrumb, that was an actual priest quest. Which is... interesting. We are obviously going to wrap things up here before we move on.
Hey, look at that. We got a small red pouch. We will definitely go ahead and equip that. That's actually really good luck. If we can just find three more of those, I'd be really happy. We'd also save a bunch of coin. Now we're going after the Scarlet Crusade documents. This is going to drop off a named guy, I believe. So we'll see what the competition is like to tag him. This might be the first time that we kind of have to compete for a tag. Since we are doing solo, we're not going to be able to group up. Uh, other people will doubtless be grouping up. But we will not be doing that, so we'll see if we can get this one. It doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. I mean, this guy, he's already up. Not a lot of competition here. Perfect. And now we are off to Brill. Victory for Sylvanas. What do you require? We're going to grab this quest right now, but we're not going to do it right now. It's level 7, so we'll do it later when we're back out this what way. What would you ask? Also hoping to run into the Abomination along the road that has a quest for us also. And then the nice thing is we can actually, we can train tailoring at a hut nearby. Enchanting we might have to go to the Undercity to learn, I'm not positive. 
we can go ahead and track the proper professions here. Let's do enchanting. Let's do tailoring. There might be an enchanting trainer in Brill, which would be really convenient. Aha! Uh -huh. There is our buddy Gordo. Let's go talk to him. We might be able to find these doom weeds on the way to town. Gloom weeds. Sorry, we need three of them. If we could gather them up on the way, that would be super convenient for us. We have to be careful out here. We have level 8 enemies. I don't really want to be messing with level 8. Level 6 is still kind of questionable. Luckily that dusk bat is non-aggressive, but some of the ones out here are aggressive, so we have to be really careful. I was really hoping to find the last doomweed that we need. It could be that they're just farmed out right now. Uh, oh, there we go. It's a little bit out of the way, but it'll do. We are going to run from this guy. I have no idea what that purple thing around us was. If any of you guys know what it is or why, please let me know because in 20 years I've never been running through here and had a purple wisp circle around me. Uh, and I'd love to know what in the world that was about. Let's 
Speak quickly. Beware the living. All right, we have made it to Brill. I'll tell you guys what. I am going to park it at the inn. And I'm going to take a break right here for today. I am going to try to keep these episodes anywhere between 30 to 40 minutes long. And if you guys are digging it and you're having a good time, then I'll probably do multiple uploads a day. So if you are enjoying the series, leaving a like, leaving a comment, subscribing to the channel, all that stuff helps me out a lot. And I greatly appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.